Hey, I'm Ima Nightheart, and this is JMO's Get Ready With Me. So, I am a mom of two beautiful babies, one six month, one four years old, and I don't have a ton of time to get ready most of the time. Um, I'm usually just thrown together. And today I have a cold because my little one picked up something at nursery and I've been working at home in my studio here and I feel just not great. I don't feel glowing. I don't feel radiant, you know. Um, I feel just blah. So this is the magic of makeup, of being able to control what people see, um, being able to project out there what you want, even if it's not what you're feeling inside. So this is going to be my kind of go-to look to give me a little bit of zhuzh when I feel just meh at best. So, um, all right, let's try it. First thing is the eyebrows. I was told that if you have your eyebrows done, you will look put together. Um, I wear a fringe. I go a step beyond that, so I don't even have to do my eyebrows. So that way they're like covered most of the time. And <laughs> that is that is my go-to method, but I respect the eyebrow thing. Um, and I do try to implement it when I have a moment, which is not very often. But um, yeah, so see all this covered, but. I can also fill them in if I'm feeling so inclined, if I have a moment. So right now I'm using Kosas, um, their Brow Pop Crayon, sorry, their Brow Pop Defining Pencil, dual action. Um, and just going underneath here, making myself look like I have an arch and like I pluck my eyebrows, which I don't. Filling those babies in. I'm a musician, an artist, a musical artist, I should say. And I do a lot of my work on spec, like making sample packs for people and songwriting, writing my own songs, obviously, um, and producing, which takes a ton of time, even though it's extremely fun, producing music, that is. Um, and so I'm producing my work basically just not knowing if it's going to make money or just kind of on a whim almost. So I kind of have to go out of my way to make myself feel like I deserve to make it, if that makes sense. And that's kind of any self-care thing. I'm an artist, so my self-care is making music. Um, for some people that might be, I don't know, cooking, reading, having a bath, whatever. For me, that's making art, making music. So I make sure I take time, whether it's, you know, pay time or not, to just be me, do me. And um, for other people that might be putting on a bit of makeup, honestly, I don't have much time for it these days. But when I do, I really enjoy it. So savor that self-care time, whatever it is. Okay, so now we're just filling these bad boys in and blending everything so I don't look crazy crazy yeah okay so and this color i think is brown black kosas i wear mostly natural makeup whatever that means um i just don't like the idea of putting a lot of chemicals on my face i also used to have a lot of like skin problems um and i feel like all the natural stuff once i did that kind of cleared me right up so that's what i do now but, um, you know, you do you. So this is Ilya's True Skin Serum Foundation, which is a favorite of mine. They also have this like, um, oh God, what do you call it? It's like a little serum, I guess, tinted serum. And um, people love it. I find it a little too much. I have oily skin. So I find that to be a bit intense for my skin. It makes me look kind of greasy and I don't really like that. But their foundation is spectacular. So I use that most days when I have a moment. So I am 
just dabbing this all over my face. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. And this is just gonna make me nice and even. Like I said, I don't have a ton of skin problems now, but I used to have like tons of acne. So I have some scarring on my face. So I just kind of blend that right out. And that's just gonna give me kind of a natural, but put together. And that is the key here, put together look. So I also wear this when I'm on stage. It's not like crazy stage makeup. Um, I used to wear a ton of MAC stuff, which I do love for the stage, but it does break me out, um, but it stays. I think the secret with all my natural stuff though, is I still, and we're gonna get to this, but I still finish with the MAC Fix Plus, which I don't know what it is. It could literally be like hairspray. I don't care. I put it on my face and I feel like that one thing that you're allowed to have that kind of like, I don't know. Um, maybe that one little skin vice, you know? Whatever, it's all good. I don't know what this is, it works. I use it, especially on stage. So, all right, so I'm just kind of blending that out, giving myself sort of that blur effect. Now I would go in with concealer and just brighten everything up. So this is also Ilia, but this is, I have two. I have two and I never know which one's which. Um, this is the brighter one. This is Wasabi, which I like the name because I like Wasabi. So I just take this concealer and just put it where I want things to be brighter. Oh yeah. Just like the Cupid's bow, bridge of the nose, middle of my forehead, I don't care. Middle of my chin, cheeks, boom, done. Okay, cool. So I take that and then I just sort of do this. Close my eyes, because I actually like it on my eyelids. I don't know if that's a thing people do, but it just sort of acts a bit like eyeshadow in terms of just brightening without actually putting eyeshadow on, and I appreciate that. I like cutting corners, yeah? I'm not precious. Before I had kids, I used to love, I don't know, just feeling put together and having a look, you know, that was recognizable when I walk down the street. Ascending sign, if you're into astrology, is Leo. Um, I'm otherwise a Gemini, but that ascending sign is real. So I kind of present as a Leo and I do like looking put together, looking done and attracting attention. Not gonna lie. I wear clothes that attract attention, but since I've become a mom, it's like, what am I attracting attention to? Like, you know, what is this? What am I trying to show the world? So. When I have control of my image, which is, um, well, today, <laughs> I like to be thought out about it. Yeah, kids are amazing, but you definitely have less time for yourself, less time for your art if you're an artist. So everything has to be super intentional. I have, don't have time to like waste anymore. I don't have time to think about stuff. I tend to be perfectionist and I just have to make broad strokes these days. And I'm okay with that, actually. It's a really great way of living. It saves me a lot of time and a lot of mental energy because I feel like I wasted a lot of mental energy just deciding all the time. This is much better. So, okay, we've done some concealer and um, eyebrows. Now let's do the eyes. So I do use some MAC. Um, this is MAC's Pro Longwear Paint Pot which I do recommend as like a um, eyeshadow primer. This is in Soft Ochre. So I just kind of put that right on these babies. So I am a music producer, but only for my own work pretty much. Um, and that's kind of how I like it because I just get to build these worlds and I get to live inside them. <laughs> Nobody else can come in. Um, and it's pretty, pretty awesome, but very time consuming. So. Now I'm sort of building these worlds on the, um, how do I say, like in the background, meaning in a I use Ableton Live for my work and I'm kind of making these templates all the time and like pre-saving like sort of sonic palettes of information. So a specific synth here, specific drum kit, specific whatever. And then I go back when I'm ready to sort of like interior decorate that world and use those sounds that I already pre-selected. And that's been saving me a lot of time in production. Um, because you can get lost 
in the worlds that you're building. So this is kind of a nice way to control that. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now with my work um, and making a lot of meditative soundscapes, things like that. I'm into um, I'm into wellness and just, um, but like I'm not wellness, I guess, as like a construct, but wellness as a day-to-day -day, like armor almost. Um, so really like just meditating, but using it as, um, I don't know, just something that like strengthens me as opposed to like woo-woo kind of stuff. It's like, okay, this is like me time. I'm using it and uh, it's like serving me. <laughs> um, it's not like kind of a, I don't know, wishy-washy thing. It's like solid and it super helps and I can see that it helps and it's science, baby. Yeah, so that's kind of my thing now. Anyway, so I'm making music. Um, I'm making these ambient remixes of all my songs and that is kind of helping me because I sort of have this meditation time as I'm making work. And then I also get to make meditation tracks, like meditative soundscapes and guided meditations for other people too. And I feel like it's helping, you know, other people I don't know, which is like a huge bonus. Um, cool. So that's my eyeshadow. This is the Kosas, um, I think it's called 10 Second Eyeshadow. I can't read that. 10 Second Eye. Yeah, this is in Simmer. It's sort of like a champagne-y color. I don't really like a lot of vibe on my eyelid. I did keep it. I like to keep it kind of natural and um, just easy. So that's that. Hmm. What are we gonna do today? You know, I usually put on a cat eye, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. So this is um, Jillian Dempsey in oh gosh, chimpy blue. Weird. I have a thing with turquoise. It's my um, favorite color and. I found out from another performer when I was touring that when you're on stage, if you have a little bit of like funky eye color, eyeliner rather, bit of a funky eyeliner color on your waterline underneath, um, it really just like brings out your eyes and makes them pop on stage. So I still do that in real life. I'm not on stage every day, but. The world's a stage, baby, so. All right, and then we're gonna put on, um, this is the Ere Perez Jojoba Eye Pencil in black. And I'm just gonna kinda go under that now and just make it look a little less, um, I don't know, just more Cleopatra, I guess. I guess we're evolving from an everyday look to a stage look, but that's fine. <laughs> so that's giving us kind of like an Elizabeth Taylor vibe. I would go back in on the top and just sort of make it like a subtle cat eye. Yeah, I would normally do this with like a liquid eyeliner, uh, a gel eyeliner actually, but my brush, I have this gel eyeliner brush that I love from Sephora and it has, I don't know, destroyed itself with overuse. So, um, you know, I succumbed to entropy, unfortunately, and I need to replace it. And I just haven't found, they don't make it anymore and I haven't found one that's big enough to make the lines I want to. They're always really tiny and that just irritates me because I have to go over it like a thousand times and I find that very annoying. So, you know, it's a look, it's whatever. Now I'm gonna, what would I do now? Hmm, lip balm. This is Ethique Nectar. Just put a little bit of moisture on my lips. Mmm, I feel so good. And then I'm gonna actually prep my eyebrows with this Kosas um, airbrow. This isn't clear. It's not clear anymore, but it was clear when I bought it. So I'm brushing this through my eye eyebrows. It's gonna make me look insane for a little bit. That's okay. Um, we're gonna let it dry a bit and then I'm gonna go through it again and kind of just make it not look insane. So then I would do this is Olio y Oso. It's like a, um, a tint. A, uh, gosh, what do you call this? A bronzer? So I just kind of whack it on my cheeks like that. High cheekbones. And it smells really good. It smells like tangerine, and I love that. So I put it on my forehead, even. 
And then I just kind of use my fingers and sort of just rub it in. It's very, it is very greasy, I'm not gonna lie. But it's kind of nice. It also just adds like, I don't know, dewiness. I know glass skin right now is in, right? So it does kind of help get that sort of effect without making you all, I don't know, shiny. <laughs> Cause it's like, I love glass skin. I love the idea of it, but I don't want to be shiny. I want to be like not, mm, yeah, dewy, right? Not shiny, that's what I want. Maybe not even dewy, just like moisturized, you know, minimizing the pores, but not like, I don't want to reflect back at you. Yeah, that's just not, it's just not my vibe, but I get why people like it and you know, I get it, but I think I'm just more of a, if I get too much moisture, I turn into a disco ball. So that's not what I'm about. So I would normally use powder, but I'm getting like older. I'm, you know, millennial, got kids now, you know, things are seeping into some creases and that's all good. I'm trying to age gracefully. Um, but it's hard, I think, especially in the world right now, well, the world of forever, I guess. Women want to look a certain way forever and it's just not reality. And I'm sort of figuring that out, I guess, step by step, but it is a hard lesson to learn. So now I'm going in with, this is Ilya's Limitless Lash Mascara in After Midnight. I just love it. It has like two sides. One's kind of like a, I don't know, straight sort of comb and the other one's sort of rounded. I use both, so. I also, oh, yeah, like I said, we're just going with it, guys. So I just kind of get at the bottom and go all the way up. I add like a side to side motion. Been on stage a lot. And I think at the end of the day, you just do what works for you. You know, I've had people do my makeup for me and it's a nice treat, but I've only had one makeup artist ever that I've really been down with how they did my, my face. I just find I I look, I don't know, I just feel better when I do it myself because um, I know my face and I've lived with it for many years and I just have my own kind of techniques and that's what I like and I'm you know down to experiment but I feel like there's certain things that just make me look, I don't know, witchy and I'm not into that. So, or like witchy in like a non, epic positive way, which is how I would use the word, but I mean this in more of like a, like a Wizard of Oz kind of way as opposed to. Okay, so we've done sort of two. So then I flip the brush and kind of use the other side a bit to kind of fill in the gaps. You know, I used to love taking time to pick out my outfit each day. Honestly, I don't do it. I wear like a uniform, like a, a uniform that nobody else knows, but it, it is like a rule book that I live by in my head and it works. I don't have to think about it as much. I just don't have that luxury of having my own time as much. So I simplify things and it's like my uniform could be, you know, this dope vintage blazer and I don't know, um, combat boots <laughs> and like a bodysuit underneath, like a long bodysuit, catsuit, whatever. Um, yeah, and that might be my vibe, like every day, but just different blazers or different jackets or different boots or something. And that's like, I'm okay with that. It's like, oh, here's the, you know, the catsuit woman, like whatever. <laughs> and I'm sure nobody says that anyways, who cares? So this is um, blush, which I love. This is Rouge Francais, I wanna say. I don't speak French, which is okay. Um, in Zenobi. So it's like a blush cream. And I just put this high on my cheekbones. It's just like a pretty pink. I, I think it's, um, I don't know, it's very youthful, um, but not too like crazy. And I just blend that in. Oh yeah. And I love it. It just makes me so happy. It just makes me feel, I don't know, like color theory, right? You see a color and you, embody it like you see pink and I don't know it just reminds me of like spring and flowers and just pleasant things and I start to like feel that way I feel like spring you know it's just that's how makeup works it's the magic of makeup cool so 
think we're pretty much here. Let me just do my brows a bit. Anyways, so I'm releasing some music upcoming in the next few months. What I'm doing these days is releasing singles, kind of like individual songs, and then I have the you know the real version, and then I'm also doing a meditative remix or like an ambient remix as well. So it's kind of like two sides of each coin, sort of internal and external, you know, introspection and then <laughs> extrospection? That's not a word. Um, yeah, introspection and then, you know, just outer whatever that word is. Um, the outer world, internal, feminine, masculine, however you want to call it, you know, yin and yang, right? Inner, outer kind of energies. And these remixes are sort of for your meditative practice and, um, yeah, just at home when you kind of like feel like not focusing on something, um, you want it in the background, you don't want to focus on the music, I mean, that's just, it's for that. And then the regular song is, you know, I make kind of complicated music, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's pretty dense lyrically and with a lot of vocal layers. I love stacks of vocals and harmonies. And um, yeah, I don't think my music's totally easy to listen to, but I do, like that in music not it's not like yacht rock right um it's complicated it's dense like humans are and that's the way i want my work to be honestly i want there to be layers and i want you to be able to come and listen to it and then come back you know you find something new you hear something different um i think the best work that i like um definitely has that in common it's it's rich you know it's multi-faceted so I try to make work, you know, that I would want to listen to and that, um, you know, hopefully I can inspire others. Like I've been inspired by my idols someday. Um, that is the ultimate goal, right? Just spreading a wave of inspiration and creativity that goes from person to person to person. That's like the ultimate goal, right? So, so I'm releasing these remixes and these singles for the next year almost um a couple every other month basically and um and yeah and that's sort of the plan right now and then i'm gonna release a mixtape with all those singles that i've had and some kind of like interludes and meditative soundscape um interludes and um yeah some spoken i hate the word spoken word but just like more poetry and um kind of piece that all together into a mixtape, my midnight mixtape, um, which will be released next spring, which is very exciting. And I will keep you posted on that. Um, oh, for hair, we've just gone for, this is what's just arrived on my head, but this is sort of like a space bun ponytail, you know, we're, we're embracing it. I like a fringe, as you know, and you know, top secret, I, I'm not gonna do my hair each day because that would take hours, literally. But I do try to do my fringe. Like I re-wet this every day and put some gel in it. And I actually use aloe vera for my gel and it makes my hair grow and it works. It like holds your curls. So I put that in with some water and then I let it dry and, and it, it makes this happen each day, which is nice. So, so yeah, we've got the fringe that's happening. We've got the pigtails and we're just rolling with it. And now we have this kind of look that's, like I said, I would usually go in with a darker eyeliner and one that stays on, but my gel eyeliner, you know, I do use, um, I should say that I use the Mac black track, which is like the best eyeliner ever. Um, and I can't, I can't divorce it. Like I just love it so much. Um, but yeah, my brush, yeah, the Sephora brush. Let's see if it. Sephora Eyeliner Precision 23. It's an angled brush. And it is literally the best thing. But I have all these little spiky bits. And um, it makes my line not so much a line, but lines. And that's not really the vibe we're going for. Completely hard to control. So anyways, I've had this for like 10 years. So it was time, but still, it's the saddest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I say that extremely um, sarcastically first world problems. But um, yeah, so anyways, this is the new one I have, but 
not the same. I'm not even gonna tell you what brand this is. It's great, but it, see how tiny this is? It doesn't work. Anyways, so this is what I would normally use. These two together and I would make an epic cat eye and it would be dark and it would stay on all day and I'm telling you, that's the best. But we're not gonna do that this day because, so Max Fix Plus, I love it. I don't know what it is, but I do do that to finish if I'm performing for sure. Um, walking around in like normal life, maybe not so much, but I do find it, it works better than anything else, so. All right, that's me. Um, my name is Angelica. I go by My Midnight Heart. Um, that's my artist name. And you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, sort of YouTube. I'm getting out there. Um, the, my handle is My Midnight Heart is yours um, on everything, pretty much. So, yeah, check me out. Let, um, keep a lookout for those singles that I'm releasing. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and. Thank you so much for getting ready with me today and more soon. Take care.